as a little child, I witnessed the last day of the Vietnam War and I seen the North Vietnamese soldiers enter the country. That pretty much the end of the war. I was born in 1966 in Saigon. I grew up in a Chinese Vietnamese family. At a very, very young age, I was around with photographic medium. My family run a photographic studio and people come to our studio to have their portrait done. In between 77, 78, there was the border conflict between Vietnam and China up north. So majority of the Chinese community tried to escape the country. And so my family actually, I mean, decided to send some of the children out. And me, my brother and two sister, we were taking the boat journey and we were spent few few days on the oceans and we managed to get into Malaysia and I was live in the Malaysia refugee camp Pulau Pidang for nine months before I came to Australia. Dutchie has an important role at Foray. He was one of our founding members in 1996 and he worked with us for eight years ensuring that there was a really strong platform for Asian Australian artists in Australia to be seen by the wider Australian audiences. Dutchie's work is really important because it looks at a part of Australian history that isn't necessarily seen that much in visual arts, where there are stories that are told in literature, in music, but to see and to encounter his photographs and his installations is to really be immersed in these stories that are very much an Australian story and part of our contemporary history. The boat project is a full-size replica of, of the fishing boats. I was uh, escaped the country from Vietnam to Malaysia. Most of the people, I mean, never actually talk about that experience. Um, even, I mean, like kind of the refugee living in Sydney or in Australia, they don't tend to often, I mean, talk about their experience. I mean, to the to the children or in the next generation, to them, I mean, like I is way too painful to to bring back that kind of memory. And I experienced that through myself. I know exactly how they feel. The Gillespie bequest started in 2012 when the art section at the Australian War Memorial learnt that Mr John Milton Gillespie had le left us some money in his will to purchase artworks for the National Collection. Uh, it's unusual to have a, a, just an open-ended bequest not relating to a specific art or conflict, but we learnt that he uh, was a Vietnam veteran and he became a migration agent and helped Vietnamese people move to Australia, so it really felt right that this commission should focus on the Vietnam War. I got an invitation to come to Canberra to meet the curators and to talk about I mean, the, this commission work. And um, Anthony was actually showing me around I mean, the, the art collections of the War Memorial related to the Vietnam. We both agree that I mean, like in the collection it actually doesn't have much about the Vietnamese urban perspective. Many of the refugees have been come to Australia. It's a soldier from the South Vietnamese Army, and now it's Arvin. Darchi then went away and had a, um, prepared a proposal for us as to what he'd like to do. Um, and we were really just immediately impressed and excited by that proposal, um, particularly because he really focused on the relationship between Australian servicemen and um, Vietnamese personnel during the war um, and really focused on interviewing people firsthand, getting their experience and letting that dictate the work. So the Memorials commissioned Archie to create two major bodies of work. Um, they'll be delivered over a three year period. The first is a series of um, a painting on lacquer that's based on historic photographs of the conflict and that's based on his process of interviewing veterans um, over several months. To make these projects rolling, I mean, I start with the to try to make contact with Australian veterans who's um, who serve in Vietnam. After uh, spending time to interview for the veterans on both sides, and I decide I need to to use some archive materials and I contact with NTS and organise them I mean, to access the archive materials, and it was amazing to see that. So we have 38,000 artworks in the collection of the Australian War Memorial. 
they're stored in a variety of different locations, but the largest one is our Works on Paper store. The memorial holds an extensive archive of photography. Much of it is official war photographers or official military photographers. So Darcy spent quite a while going through many of those albums and from that selected the images that resonated with the interviews he conducted and in some cases coming across some of the soldiers that he'd actually spoken to. Um, so that was a really amazing process to watch him select from, from that collection. After I select the image from the archive and I actually transfer, I mean, transfer that image into the board. For these commissions, I mean, which is, I mean, we're dealing with the Vietnam War, lacquers is, is part of that kind of culture identity. So that's why I decided, I mean, to using the medium which have the most direct to the, to the country's origin of that war. The, the lacquer is, is um, it's a tree, I mean, grow in Vietnam, and uh, the local people actually collect the sap of the tree and make that into the uh, medium which we're using to make an art. So the, the, the lacquer work is, um, it takes a lot of time to actually to do. You have to build for many layers. At the end, I mean, what you're looking for is super, super shiny, and it's almost like a mirror. The format of the image is very, very important. Um, the first of all, is, I mean, the length of the work, which is about four and a half meter long. The, the strip is basically one strip of the, the flag of the, the Republic of uh, Vietnam. This is a very, very important project uh, for me to actually uh, to take part. As I grew up in Vietnam, lived through the war and live through the, uh, the refugee, all that, it become now become more clear to me. I mean, um, how all that kind of background is actually influenced how my work is. Foray is incredibly honoured to be working with the Australian War Memorial to support this commission by a really important Australian Vietnamese artist. It represents the first in their very esteemed collection of an artist who's Asian Australian. The story and the perspective and the lens in which Darcy looks at Australian history, in particular the Vietnamese War, allows us to access these historical records with a whole new light. Yes, yeah, so I have witnessed veterans that have come from recent conflicts, so um, an Afghanistan vet particularly springs to mind for me, um, and seeing them see works that particularly looked at um, soldiers' experiences and the emotions after war, um, you can really see how an artwork can be something that a soldier from a previous generation was feeling what they're feeling um, because it's in their facial expression that's been captured by an artist. And that to me is one of the most powerful things we can do. Um, if we can help a veteran somehow come to terms with their experience or just even see that this isn't unique to them, that they're not alone in that, I think is amazing. Yes.